Hey folks, Rosswood Hikeway Paddle here. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Pelican Bandit 100 NTX. Of the 17 kayaks and paddle boards I have ever owned, this is the cheapest I have ever bought. And I understand that not everybody out there is looking for a four or five thousand dollar fishing kayak or 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 even looking for a fishing kayak in general so if you're looking for just a cheap cheap way to get out on the water get some exercise enjoy yourselves is the pelican bandit worth it well i'm going to take a look at it and i'll give you my honest opinion hope you enjoy all right so we'll start with a top view of the kayak you got carrying handle here in the back a small rear tank well with some mesh to hold down any dry bags or anything of that sort that you're going to want to carry. This is not a high capacity kayak. The uh, weight capacity on this boat is listed at 300 pounds. Honestly, I think that's probably pushing it. You have a seat here that, let's be honest, Leaves a little to be desired. Very thin, very low backrest on it. It's not gonna offer great, great support. You do not have any scupper holes under the seat. So water that gets under there is not gonna drain any water that gets in this kayak you're gonna be sitting in. For me, not a big issue. I like staying refreshed when I'm on the water, but depending on where you are, what time of year it is, you probably would prefer a drier ride. The scupper holes in the kayak are very, very small. I do not understand why Pelican makes these kayaks with such small scupper holes. Uh, it's not going to drain very efficiently. Got a small bungee cord up front here that can hold down another dry bag, dry case, anything of that sort. And again, very, let's say lightweight carrying handles, but they work. And it also should be mentioned that this kayak is only 40 pounds. That's a huge plus. And anybody that's looking for this kayak is probably looking for something to just get out very fast and easily on the water. All of Pelican's kayaks are two-piece designs. I personally prefer the roto-molded roto kayaks that are one piece, but to each their own. Flipping the kayak over. You can see there's not very well-defined on the bottom of the kayak. Uh, you have almost a pontoon style hull, but not much of one. You don't have a very aggressive keel on the boat. So tracking and stability aren't going to be great, but I try to keep things relative and remember that this kayak depending on where you find it, is going to be right around that $200 to $250 mark. Although I did just see Pelican's website list it for $350. I think I found this at Dick's Sporting Goods for $250. Flipping the kayak back over. Another thing I don't necessarily like about this kayak, you don't have a paddle keeper. I added one. That was the first thing I did when I bought the kayak. Uh, but it does not come with one stock. Another thing to mention in the cockpit area, you do not have uh, adjustable foot braces. You have molded in foot braces that if you're a small paddler, may not be an issue. I'm a six foot tall, lanky guy. 
It is a very uncomfortable cockpit for me. So, with that said, if you are a smaller person, maybe a female that's looking for a lightweight kayak to be able to throw on top of your car, throw in the back of a smaller SUV, something of that sort, a kayak this size is a great choice. Like I said, it's 40 pounds, it's very manageable. So, in that regard, I don't have anything bad to say about the size and weight of the kayak. Keeping in mind, the paddler that is probably going to be looking at a kayak of this size and this budget point. So, let's get her on the water and see how she paddles. So, it is incredibly hard <coughs> to film a paddling demo of a boat that has no camera mounts on it. And that is made even harder when you forget your chest cam. But, <laughs> that said, it doesn't paddle terribly. It's uh, certainly by no means the fastest kayak I've ever paddled. It's a 10 foot kayak. <laughs> 10 foot kayaks are slow. They're not built for speed. Stability. I have a high center of gravity being a taller guy. <laughs> it's a little tippy. Smaller paddler, you're not gonna have an issue. The seat. The seat is, there's no other way to, to say it. The seat is very, very uncomfortable. It is very flimsy backrest, very low backrest. A higher seat is worth its weight in gold, in my opinion, in a kayak seat. These metal framed seats on the market, yes, you pay more but they make your time on the water so, so much more enjoyable. The boat turns well. It does not track well. This boat doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> ah, sorry. Just getting over COVID. The lingering cough and out of breath. Out of breath, out of breathness, is that a word? It's a word now, I'll use it. The lingering cough and out of breathness of it will not go away. The tracking of this boat, it's like I suspected looking at the, at, at the hull of this boat, does not track well. It turns well, uh, be a good boat for slower moving shallow rivers. Flat water, if you're just looking to get out and enjoy the water, it's okay. If you're looking to cover any sort of distance, not a great, not a great option. So all that said. Overall, it is exactly what I thought it would be. It is a budget kayak made for the paddler looking to just get out on the water and enjoy an afternoon. Are there things that could make it more, more enjoyable, more comfortable? Absolutely. At this price point, you're not going to find that though. So, if you're looking for a first kayak to figure out if you're interested in the sport at all, probably not a bad option. If you're serious about spending some time on the water, I certainly recommend spending more. There are much better boats on the market for not that much more money, if I'm being honest. I'm a big fan of the Lifetime kayaks. Um, I'm a big fan of Perceptions boats. I have never been impressed with the build quality of Pelicans. That said, I know people who have had them for a long time and had no issues. The construction material also makes these boats very lightweight. That is a major, major plus. The price, major plus but in my mind the cons outweigh the pros 
but ultimately that's a decision you have to make for yourself as with any boat I recommend paddling it before you buy it if you have that option reaching out to a friend that has the boat already obviously uh, reaching out on Facebook groups social media to see if anybody will let you paddle their kayaks a lot of shops have demo days that said the big box stores that you're gonna find these pelicans in don't offer that but uh certainly don't think you should completely rule it out if it fits the criteria that you're looking for so anyway i hope you enjoyed the review i hope you found it useful if you did be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already be sure to subscribe i'll have more kayak reviews coming soon i love doing this type of thing i'm passionate about trying to help people get out on the water and enjoy a new sport kayaking is the greatest hobby I have ever found and I highly highly recommend it if you're interested. Thank you so much. Take care.